What is a VIP club and why should you absolutely start one for your real estate clients today? Stay tuned. This episode of Keeping It Real is brought to you by Real Geeks. How many homes are you going to sell this year? Do you have the right tools? Is your website turning soft leads into interested buyers? Are you spending money on leads that aren't converting? Well, Real Geeks is your solution. Find out why agents across the country choose Real Geeks as their technology partner. Real Geeks was created by an agent for agents. They pride themselves on delivering a sales and marketing solution so that you can easily generate more business. Their agent websites are fast and built for lead conversion version with a smooth search experience for your visitors. Real Geeks also includes an easy to use agent CRM. So once a lead signs up on your website, you can track their interest and have great follow-up conversations. Real Geeks is loaded with a ton of marketing tools to nurture your leads and increase brand awareness. Visit realgeeks.com forward slash keeping it real pod and find out why realtors come to Real Geeks to generate more business. Again, visit realgeeks.com forward slash keeping it real pod. And now, on to our show. Hello and welcome to another episode of Keeping It Real, the largest podcast made by real estate agents and for real estate agents. My name is DJ Paris. I am your guide and host through the show. In just a moment, we're going to be speaking with the top producing team in South Dakota, Amy Stockberger. But before we get to Amy, just a couple of quick reminders. Please tell a friend about our show. The best way you can help us grow is by telling another realtor about what we do here. Send them over to our website, keepingitrealpod.com. Every episode we've ever done can be streamed. Uh, right from a browser, or if they're already into podcasts, just have them search for Keeping It Real and hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to do us an extra favor, leave us a review on whichever podcast app you might be listening to my voice right now on. It helps us, and it also, not only does it help us reach more people, but it also helps us know what you like about the show and also what we should change and improve, because really... Guys, we do this for you, and we want your feedback. So let us know what you think of the show. Unless, of course, you're only going to give us one star, then you know you can skip uh, skip the re- review. Uh, the review. Well, that's not a word. The review. Uh, anyway, leave us a review. Tell a friend. Thanks again. We we love you. We're so grateful to be here. Five or six years in, we're going to keep making more episodes. And now on to my conversation with the great Amy Stockberger. <laughs> Okay, today on the show, we have Amy Stockberger with Amy Stockberger Real Estate in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Let me tell you more about Amy. Now, Amy and her husband are broker owners of Amy Stockberger Real Estate and also run a Teamridge brokerage model, which I'm excited to learn more about. Now, they have been the highest producing team in the state of South Dakota since 2017 and ranked 23rd in the nation by Real Trends. They uh, served 559 clients for 171 million in volume back in 2021. That was with 15 agents. Last year, they did uh, four. They worked with 486 clients, 166 million in volume. Now, Amy created a unique and all-inclusive lifetime home support system that turns their clients into referral machines, resulting in over 70% of their business sourced from relationship referrals. Amy has also successfully monetized each pillar of her lifetime home support model, which has added a lucrative revenue stream while gaining clients and agent loyalty like no other. To learn more, please visit Amy's website, which is amystockberger.com, which is uh, A-M-Y-S-T-O-C-K-B-E-R-G-E-R.com. And by the way, we have a link to that in the show notes. Amy, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, DJ. I'm glad to be here. We, uh, we got started a little late because Amy is down in Florida right now, and I was very, uh, very jealous because I will be uh, actually just a couple of hours from where she is uh, starting in a couple of days. So I got very excited and we <laughs> talked a lot about, um, you know, the winter months and how nice it is to get away for a moment or two. Um, but Amy, I'm, I'm excited to, to speak with you and you are, uh, you and your husband's team and, and all of your agents, you guys are just 
obviously you're crushing it. Um, so I'm always fascinated by people who are who are doing really well, and our audience loves to hear how you do that and and how you started. And I'd love to go all the way back to the beginning of your okay. career in real estate and first learn why real estate. You know, how did you get involved? Why and um, what was it like when you first started? You got it. So I got into real estate straight out of college. My dad had owned a Caldwell Banker brokerage at the time and did a, a really excellent thing for me. He got me a job. At right that time, I made $24,000 a year. And uh, I'm the oldest, high D, high I. And he put me in the back office and said, hey, sink or swim, see what you can do. And he, and he did the best thing for me. He taught me everything from the back end, um, the support team part of it, and just knowing the, the administrative part of running a brokerage. And then I fell in love with the industry. I uh, got licensed and I've done about every single position you can do within the real estate industry. So I started out support. I then be, got licensed and I became a buyer's agent, which at that time was very, very, very new. Um, there wasn't a lot of teams at that point. And then I became a single agent, went out on my own and then quickly started my own team with my sister and a part time assistant. And then my husband joined my business back in 2009, and that's when we really started to scale and uh, take a hobby that paid me and made it into a, a lucrative career. And then uh, we uh, were team uh, team for a long time, and then we started our brokerage in 2019 and still run it as a team or as a broker, yeah, as a team in our brokerage. We call it the Teamerage, meaning that we still give all of that support that we really feel agents need to to make them very very successful in in their craft and my vision is to create big juicy legacies for everybody within my ecosystem by using my lifetime home support foundation so there's a lot to unpack there thank you for for that that information i am um, I, I was one thing that really struck me and again really speaks to how well you run your brokerage and your team is that you really started this in 2019 which uh, again you was not a not a chance not an easy year to do much of anything in real estate right so the fact that you you know during the pandemic were able to uh put these sort of processes in place and, and start the foundation of, of this team which again i know you've been working in real estate a long time before then but this idea of doing this in the middle of the pandemic um boy that's what a bold and courageous move well, we, we started the brokerage in 2019. We started yeah. our, you know, our real growth pattern really started in 2009. And we started our lifetime home support, um, you know, our, our model of lifetime home support. We started that really in 2015. That's when um, I really figured out that the way I was doing things, I, I, I loved taking care of the client. I loved the experience that the clients were getting. And I wanted to make sure that we were providing the highest level of service to keep us top of mind for them to have them review and refer us as much as possible and, and repeat business. And so that was uh, the, the really the game changer for us is when we put that into our business, because then we're, we had a process, a system, a strategy to help the client before, during and after the home buying and selling process. And there's so much to be said about how that before and after relationship part is could be even more important than that during the transaction relationship part. Yeah, I've always thought that that was probably the maybe the, the thing I've tried to focus on in the show and talking to guests is I'm not, well, initially when I first started the show, I was mostly interested in how they treated their clients during a transaction. Because of course, top 1% producers are clearly, you know, providing a level of service and support that maybe other agents aren't. So my, initially that was my, my, uh, my main interest when I started the show. And then I realized pretty quickly uh, early on that um, top producers all had very, very Im impressive strategies for while working with a client. But then I sort of got bored listening to it because it was a lot of the same stuff. And then I thought, well, I'm actually more interested in what happens in between sales because that's, I think, where a lot of missed opportunities happen. Obviously, oh, you gotcha. know, agents oftentimes just forget because they're busy. They're in the middle of a million other things. And it's like, oh, so-and-so bought a home three years ago. Yeah, I should probably reach out, but having an actual strategy so that you're staying in touch and providing value um, is amazing. But I wanted to actually go back to something you said, because I always, every year I say, I'm going to remember to ask guests more to, about this, and I never do. And I'm so glad because I would have forgotten today, but you, you actually just jogged my memory. You were saying that you weren't necessarily super happy with the way you were running things until, uh, was it around 2015 when you started yeah. really working on your process? I, so I'm curious is what were you doing back then that you 
that it's just to identify a problem or an issue that you were having, what were some of the issues you were having that you caused you to want to create a solution for? Well, I, I was looking at the lifetime value of a client. You know, what is your lifetime value of a client? The, the value of them throughout your entire career. And I was putting the numbers to that, that, you know, in, in a career, typically a lifetime value of a client, the times they're going to transact is that, you know, in our market, 100 to $175,000. And then what does that look like then for the lifetime value of the referrals of that they're giving us? If, if, if say, 10 to 15% of your, your sphere is going to transact within 12 months, What's that mean when you you keep you know multiplying that success on making sure that your clients are becoming your referral partners? And so what I did in 2015 or before, what made me actually start the lifetime home support model that I created, is uh, I was running crazy open houses. I was spending um, as I mean it felt like I had all this money going out on lead generation that the ROI wasn't there, and I just knew that there had to be a better way to take care of my clients so that their experience was top notch. And then I also wanted to make sure that I, again, had them there for being my referral partners. And then I wanted to monetize it. I, I, that's a big part of it. I'm a systems person. Um, like I said, high D, high I. There's a system and strategy for every part of our business. And having that in place, I decided to put my, my VIP club in. And so what my VIP club is, and I have a lot of different pillars within our business of, of our lifetime home support, but. The one we're going to, I was going to visit with you about today was that VIP club where our clients get access to all of our pillars or our VIP club before, during, and after. So lifetime access for free. And so one of the first things I did is I, I put a, a moving truck in place, 15 foot moving truck in place, um, put that there for my clients to serve them before, during, and after for life. They get to use it Amazing. for free, but, but I monetized it right away. So I went back and I figured, how did you monetize it? So I figured out what my, my debt service was for it. And I went and sold ad space on the back of it and made money off of my truck. So they, I, so, so did you purchase the truck or did you lease the truck and I, then put like, how did you do that? Yeah, I purchased it, but you can lease. So, um, yeah, I have created a whole system for other agents to take what it took me, how many years to, to, to perfect. And I, I say, I have a PhD in failing forward. I've made all the mistakes. So what I've done is created a, the VIP course, start your VIP course.com. And it, it, it basically, it's a copy and paste formula to implement and monetize your VIP club. So agents can go out and take everything that all the, all the material I have, I have a, it's seven modules. I have it broken down into um, the blueprint for your 30 second elevator speech about your VIP club. I have it broken down on how to monetize each pillar. So I have a moving truck, I have a party supply, I have a tool shed, I have a discount market center, I have a client event section, I have an agent recruitment section. And then I show them how to monetize each side of that with every system they need within it. Like there's one whole module of just operations. Because there's so much that happens with all the departments within your company. And if you don't have your systems, you're not going to scale. You need those two are sisters. You need systems to scale. That's just how it works. And so I have a, a whole module that's just telling you, here's a checklist you need for every part of your um, business to implement and monetize this VIP program. Because at the end of the day, your clients are going to remember that experience. And um, this experience that we're providing, which I'll go deeper into uh, um, on the next part of it here, is that... Um, they're going to remember it no matter what, if you're there and you have the systems in place to keep top of mind. You know, Gary Keller said it in Millionaire Real Estate that humans have two places in their brain for realtors and it's our jobs to, to knock the other one out and so that we're staying top of mind. So they're, they're repeat business and referral business. And so the, the trucks was the first thing, monetize those. I have two, gonna have three here in 23. So monetize those guys. Um, and then I added my party and tool shed almost almost immediately. And so what that is, I have party and tool equipment that um, they can use. So like think of banquet tables uh, and chairs, commercial grade food warmers, cotton candy, snow cone, popcorn machines, um, platters, anything you could think of for a party, bouncy houses, all those things. So clients can come back and use those for free for life. But a big part of this is that I put my brand on everything. So yeah. again, with my truck, my clients get to use my trucks. My trucks are a marketing vehicle for me. They get out 600 some, yeah. you know, impressions per mile that they're out there. So, and then I, and I monetize the back of them. So people, so I make money off of my trucks and then now it's my party, party equipment. So everything that, you know, people for graduations, parties, people, my clients come back and use these for life. They throw parties. My name is everywhere. My brand is everywhere. So again, it's more brand awareness while they're in there. And I'm able to then, you know, obviously my clients are referring us because they're getting such value from us. 
And then there's so many stages of home ownership. Um, so we created our tool shed. Our tool shed has everything you can think of um, that a client would need for every season of home ownership. So from ladders, um, wheelbarrows, commercial grade paint sprayers, carpet cleaners, you know, the big fans, all those things. Yeah. They can so basically you guys have all this equipment. Your clients are able to contact you at any time and say, hey, I need to borrow a power washer for my deck yeah. or I need I have a children's party coming up. I need to need to can I use the bouncy house and 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 then your truck is is there on at at the event i'm assuming or or nearby the event where people can see it your name is everywhere you've monetized the truck so it pays for itself mm -hmm. um and you're getting all this amazing marketing exposure and you become the person that you're you create the stickiness because your clients are like oh amy's got everything i'm gonna just go to yeah. her i'm yeah. one of her clients that is brilliant absolutely well, then, brilliant then so because because we have we have over it's actually like this year I bet you we're going to be probably 2500 reservations that we're going to have from our clients this year but because that there's so and again again this is you're branding yourself you're serving your client which is what you want to do and you're branding yourself and then you're monetizing i monetized all of them so my party shed tool shed they're all monetized too um and you're um i created software because of that because your clients need a one-stop shop that's just about you so when you think about the, the cycle of a buyer or seller they're out on your websites and your socials when they're vetting you out and or when they're looking for houses that's what they're doing they're and, and that's it yeah, yeah they're, not, they're yeah. not coming back to your website again after they're going to time. zillow any other time yeah. to check the yep. price you know and see what their home's worth yeah yep yeah. so i created software um my lifetime home support software so my clients can go out and then i, I sell off to my students too where it has everything they need so you're serving i'm providing value they're going and looking at all of the equipment we have they're renting it on that um on my software so it easily can pick it up it's all set up i have systems inside of it so that my fte my full-time employee time on this is next to nothing because of this so, software. so you don't have to actually organize no. the, a lot it's all done through a system yep and then and then that software though is set up where i have um you know, all my, my Facebook blog, you know, my Facebook feed. So that's in front of them. Everything for my client event is up there. Everything for my home support team partners, which is another pillar I'll talk to you about. My private Facebook group for them is on there. So I have listings on there, easy way for us to review, review me and my agents. So again, it's, it's, it, it's a, place for them to go one-stop shop that has everything they need. And I'm not selling to them. I'm serving to them. Right. And, right. and again, if there's one lead generation that everybody should focus on the most and spend the most amount of money on is their data bank. Their data bank, especially in a market like this, in this type of market is an opportunity market for those who, for those who are frozen in fear, they're going to get just, they're, they're going to get passed by. They're going to get passed by right now. Is it mark? Is it opportunity market? And this is where we're going to go in and, and pick up market share. That's our you know market share is twenty three. You know we're climbing is the theme of our year that we're going in and um, that's you need and you need to do it through your data bank because they are the best who know like and trust you, and the referrals from your data bank. Are the best referrals to work with they're, they're almost guaranteed yeah they're guaranteed and they come to you knowing your value and one of the big things too about this lifetime home support model like my isa department we have an eight percent you know contact to to contract uh um conversion rate you know the market average is like one to two and then explain for, that to me I, i'm sorry i, I wasn't not oh, sure i totally understood that my, my isa uh, um contract to close right we have an eight percent conversion oh, contract to close got it yeah got yeah it. so um, not contract to close, sorry, from contact to close. Oh, contact close, got it, got it. Yeah. It, okay. Yeah, so it. the minute, so a lead comes in, so my lifetime home support model is a hook because you have to know that anybody who's going out to any website, they're talking to five to six other brokers too. So totally. my lifetime home support model is the, the hook that, that keeps them with us, that hey, with us, you get access to all of these things for life. And I haven't gone through all of them yet, but this is what we have because we're lifetime home support. We're here to save you time, stress, and money, and we're the experts of connecting buyers and sellers. And we do that and help you build wealth through real estate with our lifetime home support model. And so again, yes. having this, it just even if you're doing lead generation for your web leads, you have this hook of lifetime home support that keeps them with you. So yes, and boy, again, you just said so much. There's a couple of things I wanna, I wanna uh, dial mm -hmm. into because um, from our, our listener perspective, um, you said a couple of things that, uh, that really sh sort of grabbed my attention, uh, which was, it, well, actually, I'm going to ask you a question. So you had said this and you said this very quickly. So I want to sort of 
rewind back to, yeah. to this particular point because I think this year it's particularly important and, and and I think you would agree, but I'm curious because you'd mentioned, you know, your database, your your sphere of influence, your, your you call data bank, um, mm-hmm. is you know, the most powerful source of, of, of new business. Um, and uh, I, w- what I am curious about is, and, and you'd set a percentage and I just missed it. I, I know the percentage is 16%. That's the number I know, yeah. but I, I don't know which, which number I, I missed ten, the actual ten number. To, said. 10 to 15%. Yeah, 10 to I mean, 15. Yeah. yeah and so here's bad. what, here's what Amy and I are talking about. So in your database, depending on what numbers you're looking at, we'll say 10 to 15% of the people in your data bank are going to, uh, transact in real estate within the next 12 months or Amy, correct me if I have that wrong, yeah, but yeah. something to that effect correct correct so if we if we know that and if first of all i think there's a lot of agents that have never even put a database together but if and if you haven't this is the time to do it especially this year because amy's exactly right all the top producers this year they are getting market share they're gaining market share on the agents that are a little bit reluctant are, are pulling back and maybe they're a little scared or maybe they're depressed because of the way interest rates and, and inventory but the, the brokers that are stepping on the gas a little bit and realizing tonight this is the year to deepen relationships are, are just going to take that market share away from the agents that are are, pre, are pulling back. But what I wanted to, to say is we're basically – you just – basically um, smashed a myth or or, what, or or discredited a myth, which is I don't have enough potential clients. No, you do because 10 to 15% of the people you already know are going to need a realtor in the next 12 months. I guess the question yeah. is how, what percentage of those 10 to 15% are you actually going to earn or get? Um, and if you just sit back and wait, it's probably going to be a smaller percentage than if you're more proactive. And what I, what I'm, the reason I'm making such a big deal about this, I think this is such a relief to agents that are like, I don't have enough leads. I don't have anything new oh. stuff coming. It's like, okay, that that might be, but you already have this uh, this huge peop, you know group of people that you you could focus on you know developing more intimate relationships, more more connected relationships with. But anyway, yeah. I just wanted to make that point. No, and that's so true. And a the best real estate business you can build is a relationship based business. Real estate will always be relationship based. And now it's, it's always, you should always be doing this, but it's a game changer when you add something like this in to your business, because you can scale so quickly and, and you're serving. And if you're not in this to serve anyway, it's likely not going to work out for you, but you're serving at such a high level that it becomes a law of law of reciprocity. And our, our humans are so predictable. And the law of reciprocity is just, you get something, you give something back in kind. That's just how our brains work. And so the, the, our VIP club is such a, a huge part of our lifetime home support pillars. And, um, you know, another part to that, I should say, so we have our party shed, our, you know, our trucks, we get those monetized, our party shed, our tool shed, those are all monetized. Um, and again, our tool shed are things people don't want to buy, rent, or store. We have for yeah. them. And that's just the way totally. it is. And they're, they're going to need, you know what they're going to need. And in my course, since I've done this for so long, we we know, and I have it all laid out in there, we know what equipment is good and what is not going to work. We know what quiz, equipment's going to last you a summer, which one's going to last you two years. So I have laid that all laid out too, because that's, that's a trial and error thing, you know, that you just wouldn't know if you hadn't done this process. So I've done that, but then another part of our home support team is um, our discount center. So I have a relationship with a, an online discount center that I'm offering up in this that they can go out and our, our clients get 85 to 25% off over 100,000 different national big brand names. So like Nike, Under Armour, Walmart, things like that. They get deeper discounts on what they would get on products and services they're already going to buy that we're offering up to our clients. So they can save another $5,300 a year just by using that. And that's, so that's, you know, here's another thing we're offering you to save you time, stress, and money. And that has a lot of different lead generation in it that I'm using right now for corporate partnerships and, and building market share on that, which is a totally different process, but it's, it's so, so, so lovely because again, relationship-based is, a relationship-based business is the easiest business to scale. Um, and then the, the next one is my home support team. So again, our clients need so many different um, services and um, products throughout all of the seasons of buying and selling, right? So I put together what I feel is the best of the best of vendors within my local market who are part of my home support team. And they give our clients preferential treatment, um, preferential sometimes pricing, and are there to make sure they're giving them legendary care like we do. So think of your, um, obviously, lender, and inspector, you know, those things. We have all those. But then it's HVAC. We have um, carpet cleaners. We have um, home cleaners. We have uh, um, 
uh, interior mold, design. Probably mold remediation. You oh, probably have oh, it. oh, everything. So, you know, uh, I, I charge these partners $3,500 a year to be a part of my program. And so my clients have access to it. So I have a huge lead gen or a huge revenue source in this, but it's, it's, it's threefold. My home support team is threefold in that it really is so beautiful for my clients because that's another value add to my VIP. So they have access to all of my people that I'm keeping in front of them because we have all the systems in to keep the home support team partners in front of my clients when they need them. They have the discounts, they have all of that. But then the second part of it is obviously the revenue generation. And that's another big thing that brokers and team leaders really need to be thinking about this year is what other revenue streams are you adding into your business? It's very important to have other different revenue streams that you have laying down for to, to continue to keep monetizing your business and building it. And so, um, so the second part is that we have the revenue stream coming in. And then the third part is market share. So a part of the, the requirement for my home support team partners to be a part is that we get to come in and present to their employees. We get to come in and tell them about our lifetime home support model, all the things they get with being a, an Amy Stockbroker real estate client for life. Once we get in that one to many presentations and showing them all of our, our success strategies, because we have a you know, we have a, a lease buyout program, we have an instant offer program, we have a guaranteed sales program, we have a love it or leave it guarantee. Um, so we have all these systems for every stage that once I get in front of them and I'm telling them about, it's far better than anything I could throw on social media. It's far better than anything. It's a one to many. And then we have a system where we're staying sticky too, where we're keeping our information in front of that employee. So when they have a life change, which is where we can be of service to anybody in a life change, right? That's what we do as realtors, um, that those people are who we can serve. Why would they not call me? They're calling us because we're the broker of choice, because we're the ones who are offering the most amount of benefit besides being the, the leaders and connecting buyers and sellers, but everything else they get for life with us. So I just want to, all of that was amazing. I wanted to point to something that I have never heard anyone else say. Um, and I, I, I'm just going to kind of focus on it because I think it's something that really any of our, any of our listeners could possibly implement. Although I, oh, by the way, for everyone who wants to learn this program in this system. Amy's got an entire program for you, which uh, is, is she calls it the copy and paste formula to monetize your own VIP club. Um, and if you want access and Amy, it's startyourvipclub.com, yep. um, I believe, correct? Yes. So yep. we're going to, by the way, there's a link to that in the notes. And guys, this is really what you want because look, I mean, anyone can put programs like this together, but I have never seen uh, a broker, a realtor, put this kind of program together who has the level of success that Amy and her team do. And it's it's not like they're only doing massive $10 million plus luxury deals. The, you know, she said their average price points like, you know, 200, 250,000. Three, 340. So, yeah. th 340. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yep. so that is a very, uh, you know, sort of median price point for mm -hmm. a lot of, she, she's doing a lot of transactions, doing 500 plus transactions a year uh, with her team. And guys, she put all this together and she wants you to learn more about this as well. So start your VIP club.com has a lot of this information. There's, there's I think even a couple different membership options. I think yep. there's like a one time and then there's monthly and all this, but you know, it's funny whenever I see these kind of products, it's, it's really never backed by a, a, a brokerage or, or a team that's actually doing a ton of production. So I think you have this really unique spot in this very crowded place of, we'll show you how to, you know, create this amazing business. It's like, oh, I'm actually doing it. <laughs> and, yeah. um, and, you know, I love that. So startyourvipclub.com is, is where you can learn more about this. But the, the one thing I, I wanted to mention which was well, a couple of things. First, having a private Facebook group. The only reason I'm, I'm mentioning this for your clients, by the way, which Amy has talked about, is this is a brilliant thing. I've never heard anybody mention this idea. Now, here at our brokerage, we have a private uh, Facebook group for our brokers. Our, in Illinois, everyone's a, uh, everyone's called a broker. So for our realtors, and they are, um, you know, they chat back and forth in there. We do trainings in there. We do a lot of celebration stuff. But I never have heard of a realtor having that for their clients. But it's the same exact idea. It's brilliant because your clients get to know each other. You're probably posting content in there from time to time. And oh, okay. your clients get more direct access to you and and, your, and the other clients. So that in and of itself, I love. And that's something really just about anybody could, could put oh. together. Um, but I love the fact that you have created this whole program that shows people step by step how to do things like, yeah, you know, hey, I, I think I do want to offer a van or a storage or, or a shed with tools so that my clients can use it. 
The other thing you said that was really fascinating to me, and as a somebody who sort of works on the management side of a, of a brokerage, I don't know why we're not doing this, which is you charge your vendors, the ones that you refer to, you charge them to be part of your you know preferred vendor list. And that is, I've never heard anybody mention that that is such a smart idea because number one, you want to make sure, of course, that they're that they're committed and and the, these vendors of do a good job, which you've already done. But it's like, no, you should have to pay to get access to my clients. My clients are really the most important thing for me, and I want to know that you know. I'm assuming that the thought is that you want these vendors to have some skin in the game, so that you know that that at least you're receiving some value along the way as well. Oh, gotcha. And think about it just as a from the realtor's perspective that client is trusting you for i mean we play so many roles to these these beautiful humans who are in a really big big financial decision in their life and and they trust who you know like and trust and so um my home support team people have, have been partners have always been so important to me but i really i really wanted to to offer them to local like sioux falls like our, our state we don't have state income tax like we, we just have we have a, we have a lot of growth coming in because of that we're just you know forbes is like we're the best place to you know, start a business, I think since my, since 20 years now, since I, I've been in the business, you know, it's been so long, but I really love growing local too. Like I really love giving back and growing local, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to help sure. you grow your business because I'm going to show you, I know how to market. I'm going to put you into my marketing. I have a whole system that I, I market for you to keep you in front of the people. And then they stay and they're going to use you. It's just a no brainer. And my home support team partners, I love them. They're so good. And my, my goal this year is to have 125, um, so do the math on that, $3,500 a year. Wow. Um, last year, we were right around that 100 mark. Um, and they, these and these home support team partners, they're the ones who you know also add, do ad space on the back of my truck. They're the ones my client events. So I, we do really big client events a year. And they're the ones who I have a whole system in my course about this that, that they pay for my client events. I have a whole sponsorship uh, category sure. about what they can pay for on that. So my, I monetize my client events. And again, if you're not doing client events, you should anyway, because you should be loving on them. But uh, typically I sell anywhere between three to four additional units, every client event, just from, again, the law of reciprocity and then having, sure. and, and it's good for my home support team partners too. They're out there and they come in, you know, the ones who are sponsoring, they're there and they're meeting my clients face to face. And so it's a, it's a great opportunity. And the other thing that you said that I absolutely love, and I've sort of been beating the drum on this since I started the podcast, although I'm not a producing agent, so probably nobody listens to me, but um, but my guests, uh, they do listen to. So I wanted to make sure they, that because you've said so much already that I know a lot of our uh, listeners' heads are probably spinning going, oh my God, there's so many good ideas. This is a good one that I have... I'm trying to think of anyone. We've done almost 500 episodes. M my memory's garbage. So maybe somebody said this before, but I don't think so. And here's what Amy mentioned. And she said it very quickly, but it was really a brilliant nugget in my opinion, which was when she has clients, she's like, oh, by the way, you know, she obviously knows where they work. She knows, you know, probably enough about the office they work at or a little bit about their business. And then Amy's like, hey, who's like the HR person? I want to talk to them and see if I can come in and do a presentation for the other employees, which is absolutely one of the smartest things because you're going to have one of their employees vouching for you and saying, oh my God, you got to have Amy in here. She'll bring in lunch and she'll do a little presentation. And that is absolutely brilliant. And nobody else does that. I okay. So I'm creating a course on this because have you ever read the book, the Dream Manager book? No. Okay, so the Dream Manager was, I think it was written in 2007, back before the world was the world now, right? Where we've just had such a hard time with the employees. And we own, my husband and I own a handful of businesses, so we know how hard it is to keep, keep, keep attract and retain good talent. And so that's basically the concept of that book is that it's, it's getting harder and harder each year to attract and retain good talent, so employees, and that a happy employee is a productive employee. So what I've done is I've created my, my a corporate partnership with all of these things with the foundation of my, my lifetime home support. And I've gone out to companies and just say, here, I want to be a corporate partnership. I'm going to offer you all these things for free, all these different parts of my VIP that we haven't talked about all of it. I'm going to offer that for you for free to put into your employee benefit program. And you can do this to help you become a better place to work for your employees to just have one more benefit of working for you we're going to offer up different lunch and learns activities because again a, a, a statistically an employee who owns is, is typically a more productive employee than an employee that rents it's just stats this is what it is um but we come in and we just and we we get the opportunity to be in front of these people and and, and that and again i have you know the high level you know the c level that i'm getting in front of because we're offering them this then i also get all the employees too 
So the lead gen I'm able to give to my agents from, from what we're seeing from this is fabulous. Like my goal is to have 10,000 employees signed up by the end of um, 23. We just signed up um, a really big one that I'm so excited about. That is just gonna be a huge thing for us to be able to help them, the, this big company, but also my employees or my, my agents. I'm gonna be able to re help them grow their business even bigger than I have because I'm gonna have more leads coming in for them through this Lifetime Home Support Corporate Partnership Program. Yeah, it's it's a it's a wonderful idea. Um, tell us more about the program itself for agents who might want to consider adding in some of not only these processes but these revenue streams, right? Like this is an amazing thing that that you've figured out not just how to because I've had a lot of agents on our show who have amazing processes and strategies mm -hmm. and and really it's just incredible but they haven't always monetized other parts of the business outside of the actual transaction which of course is monetized so mm -hmm. this idea of monetizing everything else even like you were saying you know you know getting a, a van and and you know getting advertising on it and, and and even that in and of itself is is smart because it's essentially becomes a free thing um, um, but tell us more about the program, the Start Your VIP Club. Let's. I'd love to hear like what do people get, um, and, and what are the price points for it? Okay, so it, it's basically it's the only course of its kind that gives uh, um, agents, single agents, team leads, brokers a roadmap to creating a VIP club that'll turn their clients into referral partners for life. It also to walk them through how to monetize each part of it. So from the moving trucks to the party shed, to the tool shed, um, to the discount center, I have discounts for all of these and discounts for the products that they can buy as well as what products to buy, which ones are the best. Then I, it's a seven course module. Um, it's a seven module course, sorry, in there. And it has a, a section on each of the, the pillars for implementing, monetizing, checklist, has a whole operations module, has a whole marketing module for your own, I have a VIP clubs made for you, I have press releases made for you, I have your 30 second elevator speech made for you, I have um, your your uh, first, your rollout to your data bank, that initial rollout to your data bank, I have um, everything you're gonna need to get sponsorship for your client events, how to throw a big, a big great client event, again, um, I'm very system centric. So I also in this course gave away um, as a bonus uh, my, three of my my high level client event checklists from beginning to end that basically all they have to do is put one thing in and it auto populates everything they need to do to run a, a, a profitable uh, client event that their clients are going to love and their agents are going to attend. That's the other part of it to get their agents there to, to really love it. So that's included in it. Um, we also have a software, like I said, that we created for our lifetime home support model. So it walks you through how the software works and what it's gonna to do to save you on employee time. And it's gonna help keep you and give you more referrals because your clients have a one-stop shop that, it, that they're gonna need after the transaction. Again, they're not going back to your website after the transaction, they're just not. And so it just gives you a step-by-step, -step, no shiny object. Like I think our industry is so shiny object, don't you? Like yeah. we, people throw money at all this stuff and then they don't go back and check the ROI. So this is a, a no shiny object. Here's. Here's what you do. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to give you all the tools you need from the, the contracts to sell off your sponsorship for your trucks to your client events, to your party and toolship, as well as additional lead generation that goes into it because all of this has additional lead generation. I give away all of this stuff to nonprofits for free. I give it away to first responders for free. I give it away. I sponsor some schools that I give it away to for free. Guess what I get to do? I get to go in and talk to these people or I get to send in my employees to go in and talk to these people and tell them about our lifetime home support model because we're doing that. And it's a good community give back. I love that. Again, you should want to do that as a business owner. Um, but it's, it's, it's a whole circle all around way for them to grow a airtight, no worrying about any type of market shift type of business. So what's, what I love specifically going all the way back to one of, one of my sort of initial questions was like, what are you doing in between the sales? Well, you're basically telling us all of the things that you're doing in between sales cycles, which uh, how long in, in your, like, what's the average uh, time where somebody buys or sells a home and then um, onto their next, like seven years, five to seven years? It's actually three to five in our market. So, so when you think of the lifetime value of a first time home, home buyer, they're a fiver, you know, they're usually five transactions, you know? So you think about that. If, if, that, if there are five transactions for you as a first time home buyer through the life of your career, then think of how many other referrals you're getting per year off of them. That's a really delicious career. 
And the fact that you even have a private Facebook group really allows them possibly, depending on how, how active they are on Facebook, mm -hmm. to really get almost daily interactions with you, right? Like oh, depending yeah. on how much content you guys are putting in there. But I, I was gonna ask you like, what do you do in between sales? Well, you're doing so many different yeah. things where you're just, you're constantly in contact. And I bet you you don't even necessarily have to ask your clients, hey, are you, do you, do you need my help buying or selling something? Because you're so present in their life. They're reaching out to you I imagine you don't even have to ask for the business we you no know, it's 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 beautiful we really you know over 70 percent of of our business comes from repeat and referral business and that's that's low because I because I also have an ISA department but my highest ISA lead source is off of calls coming in so those calls coming in are typically off of them either seeing stuff that we're posting out there about our lifetime home support model or referrals in from past clients and so, you know, that's right. Cause then it's, then it's Zillow, you know? So sure. my ISA's next one is Zillow. So, um, it's, so it's you just, actually get more inbound calls than Zillow that then you like, oh, you have like yeah. purchasing leads from Zillow. Yeah. 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 The come, the come list me calls or the um, come show me a yeah. house calls. And then think about it though, too. So we, and, and this is all in my course. Um, again, it's the hook, it's the hook they're calling in cause they're contacting five to six different other agents. So, Again, my agents are trained that if they're out, you know, the first time they're showing, if say a client buyer doesn't want to come in and they're meeting them in the driveway, they're they're handing them the marketing sheet about their lifetime home support and just say, hey, just by the all the by the way, this else this is what else we have to do to help you build wealth wealth through real estate with our lifetime home support model. With us in one year, you're going to save likely over ten thousand dollars by doing something you're going to do anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing. What, what, what you really have, I mean, when, when you say you're a systems person, you are really a systems person. So I imagine one of the main benefits is it just gives agents not just a blueprint of, of you know, sort of how to think about building these systems, but it actually tells them what to do oh, on a daily yeah. basis. Yep. So at the end of every module, because that, that's what it is, people will take a course and then they won't know what to do. So at the end of every module, I call it my action step checklist. At the end of every module, I have an action step checklist that tells them, Black and white, this is what you need to do to implement what you just learned. Here's the checklist, boom, 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 on what you need to do to move to the next step to, to continue to build that VIP club. Yeah, it's it, it's really amazing. And um and, and as far as cost, what what are what is the cost for the start your VIP club? Nineteen ninety seven. Gotcha. So just yeah. shy of $2,000. And for anyone yeah. listening that's like, oh, that's a lot of money. Well, it's really less than probably a third of one transaction, right? Oh so my it's, gosh, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's it, it and guys, it's a one one time payment. Um, you know, basically two thousand dollars. And if some, if you could, you know, I think back to because I have to build the systems uh, for our 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 company in in a more of the recruiting side and the retention side. And I can tell you, I spent a lot more than two thousand dollars putting oh. all of that together over the yeah. last twelve years. And I would have killed to have somebody hand me a, a program like that. I would have gladly paid way more than two thousand dollars because it it actually pays it doesn't just pay for itself it actually generates incredible amount of revenue oh my gosh the amount of revenue that you have from this just from your repeat business is in there and then when you think about yeah it's just a system and strategy if you don't have to come up with it mark twain said there's no such thing as an original idea everything is just yeah. out there it just doesn't exist same thing you take this and it gives you a step-by-step -step on how to create it implement it and, and monetize it quickly and then i also i have um virtual assistant trained in my lifetime home support um, program that I sell time blocks out to my students too, who want to implement faster. So my VAs have stepped into my students and help them just go with that. If they don't have either the bandwidth in house right now, or they want extra help with somebody who knows everything about this system already, they can uh, buy time blocks at my lifetime home support uh, virtual assistants too. Yeah, that, that makes so much sense. I, um, I, was, I was at an event yesterday morning uh, here for our local association where we bring in top producers and have them speak to to um, to newer agents. And we had about 300 uh, people there and it was a wonderful event. And um, somebody grabbed me um, who I didn't know. He, I guess he's a, a fan of the podcast and said, uh, speaking of virtual assistants, he goes, I listened to an episode you did about, um, you know, why a virtual assistant makes sense. And I finally pulled the trigger, did it. He goes, I've like doubled my business because oh, of it. Oh, easy. And easy. Easy. Yeah. Easy. I tell my agents all the time that if you're doing it, then you're the assistant. You don't need to be doing, you know, my average agent, you know, again, they're selling, you know, close to 30, you know, and 22 homes a year. And so that they, they shouldn't be doing those things. 
You know, we have, I think we have six VAs right now over in the Philippines that, that we have, and um, it just helps systemize so many things that we're not worried we, about. Yeah. We we have VAs as well for for our, our for running the back end of, of our brokerage, um, not mm. client facing VAs, but yeah. you uh, but but client facing VAs are great too, and all of ours are from the Philippines as well. And boy, um, I've had I've been using um, uh, VAs in the Philippines for six years now, I think, and uh, just incredible uh, incredible opportunities there that oh, are now yeah. so globalized. We can find um, great talent from overseas you know, with an internet connection. And it's, yeah. it's just, it's just amazing. And right now, just to speak to that, uh, I think a lot of agents, again, and brokers who are just, who are frozen in fear and not taking advantage of the opportunity have let a lot of VAs go. So right now there's an influx of VAs available. So again, for somebody thinking about that, that it's right now is a good time to get a VA who's trained in nearly every tech stack that's out there. Yeah. Uh, so what would you recommend as a first step for somebody who does feel a little frozen right now? They don't have a whole lot of clients. Everyone's bummed out about interest rates and, and inventory. Um, and obviously mindset's really important. So what, what would you recommend that somebody could do as just like a first step forward to just start recognizing the opportunity that exists this year? They need to build their database build their data bank. So if they want to email me, amy at amystockburger.com, I will send them my data bank builder for free, send them out to, for them to do, to sit down and fill out. It's just their data bank builder. That's just going to be memory jogs for them of everybody they know who should be living within their database, within their CRM. And then they need to turn around and do the next step, put them in that CRM and let it start working for them. And then yeah, and are you a big fan of collecting as much data data points as you can to give you a reason to reach out? In other words, like how I don't know how detailed you get with your with your clients and your CRM, but you obviously know where they work because we talked about mm -hmm. why that's important. Um, and also too, you could put Google alerts up for these companies, yeah. and if you see any major news come through, another reason to pick up the phone. Hey, I just saw your company won this big deal or whatever. Um, yeah. So I imagine a lot. I mean, it, you've talked about this, a lot of what you do is real estate adjacent or mm -hmm. even even not necessarily related to real estate because you're trying to just Im immerse yourself in their lives, which include work, life, home, everything. Yeah. You, I imagine you probably have a lot of data points in your CRM for each one of your, your, you know, your data, oh. or you said called data bank, sorry. Yeah, um, we, we do. We keep as much as we possibly can in there. I mean, that's a big part. I think that I tell my agents this too. That's one of the, the benefits of working for our, our companies. Our business plan is, is set up because I made all the mistakes. And so I've set it up so that they don't have to, and they can scale easily and don't have to do it the hard way like I did. They're able to do it the easy way with everything that we've we've taken care of for them. Because think about it too. Like I didn't start as I didn't use my CRM to the level I use it now, uh, probably ten years ago. Think of what like, I, I in my head. I'm like, oh, you know how much more success I would have had had I used that the way I should have. But but then you think of a CRM. What are they using for those drip campaigns? Are they using the built-in ones? Are they going back? Are they are they putting any of their unique value propositions? My course has it all. I have a whole drip campaign for every part of it, from the from the time they rent something to the drip campaign and the funnel they have from when they come in as a, a new lead. So you have the hook in there from a web lead to a past client to a nonprofit to your HST partners, all of those in there. So you're staying top of mind through all the ways you need to. Yeah, it makes it makes all the sense in the world. Um, I don't know how big the rental, the residential rental market is in Sioux Falls. I, I don't know if that's um, a, a, a possible source of, of revenue for agents. Um, I hear in Chicago, we're in downtown, so obviously there's tons oh. of rentals, and so many agents start out in rentals, and, and so many agents don't. And I always encourage agents who aren't like flush with leads, especially if they're new, which of course nobody is when they start. I'm like, do as many leads as you can because almost everyone that owns used to rent, right? And I, again, mm -hmm. I don't know if that that might not translate to every market out there. Um, but um, do you see a lot of agents doing rentals as a way to just as an entry point um, in your market to or, or do you not encourage ours. your agents to do that? It's not we don't really have the biggest just not it's much. Just, it's, it's just yeah. not even a, really a thing here. Um, yeah. You know, leasing what, maybe. What about commercial. supporting local businesses? So you talked about having a vendor list. Oh, do you? Yep. Do, I would love to know a little because this is another thing that anybody oh. can go out and do. Go ahead, yes. tell, talk. So, about okay, so one of my standards of practice for our agents is that they have to be in a, a performing networking group that meets on a weekly basis. 
So Love elites that. group. So and 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 BNIs are not for everybody. They're just sure. not. They, they weren't for me when I first got into the business, basically because I was dirt poor and did not have the money for a BNI, and it just wasn't the structure that my brain worked best in. So I created um, a leads group and I have a system for my agents too, where they have to be a part of a leads group that again, that meets on a weekly basis. The, the benefit of leads groups, there's exclusivity to your market. So it's not like the chamber. I sit on the board of our chamber. So I love the chamber. Chamber is a big part of our business too, but um, it's, it's not like the chamber. You have exclusivity in that. And you're meeting with all the holidays over the one year, you're meeting likely like 48 times. The investment to be in ours is about $45 a month. And you have the opportunity to sit down, especially as realtors once a week, and during your 30 second interview or your 30 second commercial where you're going around introducing, you're giving out all your, your listings. You got you better bet that I'm telling every seller in my list seller presentation that that's part of my SOPs for my agents that we're giving out our listings at everything. So again, word of mouth marketing, that's the second place where buyers find out about a house That's for interesting. Sale. You're giving out your listings. That's very interesting. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, at the second place buyers find out about a house for sale is through the realtor. So that word of mouth needs to be so big. And so that's, yeah. you know, a, a big thing too, if you, um, and I do have, I have a mini course coming out on that on a blueprint to, to build a converting leads group, but that, that is such an easy, easy build. Like you could do 10 transactions a year just from that. I typically sell my personal business three to 4 million a year for my group that I started back in 2004. Wow. So, so, it, but it's, it's such an easy, and again, it's rapport build, it's relationship building and they're out there, you're building their business. So they're out there helping you build yours. And again, the yeah. more eyeballs you have on your listings, the better. Yeah, and and you know the vendor the vendor list too is or, or the partnership list I, I I guess I should say is so important at, at this meeting I was at yesterday or this this white or this uh, top producer event um, one of the one of the agents was they said well where do you where's some of your best referral sources and he said well everyone talks about their existing clients and yes you know a good chunk of mine come from there but he's like you know what nobody talks about <laughs> because it's maybe just a little bit slightly sort of uncomfortable he goes divorce attorneys he oh. says divorce attorneys are unbelievable and the whole crowd you could see kind of like shuddered like oh i don't really want to that's dark and kind of uh you know maybe uncomfortable but it was like he goes oh no no he goes divorce attorneys are first of all they're always in business they always have lots of business unfortunately yeah. but but uh, or fortunately depending on the situation but regardless they have people who need to move right so this is these are huge opportunities to get in to really think about leveraging these relationships and whether oh, gotcha. you know and earning them. So I'd love to, I'd love to hear more about some of those partnerships that you have where you're able to provide value, like obviously on, on either end there. Yeah. So even probate too, I think we have our yeah. relationship with the attorneys in town for probate because the state planning attorneys. They, yeah. They have to. And that's really one of the reasons like my instant offer program. So we have all, like, like I said, systems and strategies for every part of the home buying and selling process for every season. So from that lease buyout, the very first house, and oftentimes that instant offer program we have is the last house. So that's that's a really good program for you know it's typically it's the the older child who's taking care of that for their their parents typically sure. out of state and so having those relationships with probate attorneys in town to just hand those leads over they're just they're going somewhere we know that they're going to sell and that's a that's a good good lead source for us wow well i i and by the way you know so so amy's a couple of things we want to mention here so amy's program um, you know, to really create a lifetime lead strategy and have all the systems that, by the way, she's been working on for, gosh, uh, a, a, quite a number of years now and made all the mistakes that you don't have to make uh, because they've already been made and she already knows how to uh, to move past that um, and to get her best practices. And again, she's one of the top teams in the country. This is not this is not a self-help guru <laughs> that has never actually practiced uh, like, like somebody like me who goes, oh, this is what you should do. And you're like, well, DJ, you never practiced. Yeah, don't listen to me, but listen to me. <laughs> because Amy knows what she is talking about. And if you go to startyourvipclub.com, you can learn more about all of this. And guys, I don't ever recommend any really, I mean, very rarely do I ever recommend a program for our audience because I don't want our audience investing in something that uh, that that they are going to come back to me and say, well, I don't like that DJ guy anymore. He, I just spent $2,000 and got nothing. No, you're going to get a lot with this program. And I need to use this program myself 
for some ways I need to better uh, strategize and 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 process out our our business. And so this this is I, I'm going to be a client of this as well. And I'm going to I really I am because I need what here's what I need help with. I need help better monetizing our podcast. So I'm going to I would like to chat with you offline about that. But but yeah. my point is, is Amy has figured all this stuff out. Mm-hmm. So guys, if you go to start your VIP club dot com, um, then you can learn more about it. And please, please consider investing in it. I know it's a little bit of money. But trust me, if it just gets you even just one deal, it pays for itself and it's going to get you a lot more than that. More importantly, it's it's not even really about getting one deal and having it pay for it. It's about setting up systems so that you don't have to wake up every day and go, what am I supposed to do? What should I do? Because yes. that is a tremendous amount of anxiety. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we, I know what that feels like when you don't have processes and systems in place. It sucks when you wake up and you're like, there's fear. There's, you just don't know what to do. You're sort of flying blind out there. Mm-hmm. Get a system. This is the overwhelm system paralysis. It's overwhelm paralysis. Yeah. That's just what happens. If there isn't a, a direct yep. checklist on what you need to do, that's what happens. Yep. And by the way, the other thing I'll mention for any agents that are in the Sioux Falls area or are in, you know, a surrounding area of South Dakota and you're like, oh, I don't work with a team like this. My, my brokerage isn't quite giving me these kind of things. Or I would love to like work with Amy or maybe become a member of her team while she obviously doesn't accept every realtor that that reaches out. But Amy, um, I, she is, her team is growing. They have 15 mm-hmm. agents right now and they are one of the top teams in the entire country. I know if I was in Sioux Falls, uh, South Dakota as an agent, I there wouldn't I wouldn't even look elsewhere. I'd be like, well, I just want to go with the best. Yeah. So um, Amy, if there is anyone out there, and by the way, guys, remember too that when the pandemic happened, a lot of people started moving to places that uh, they weren't moving to prior to the pandemic, you know, Montana, Idaho, the Dakotas, right? So you might, even if you're not in that local area, maybe you have referrals of people that are now exploring getting, you know, you know, retirement homes there or, 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 you know, maybe just uh, moving to, cause they can work from home. So even if you just want to refer business to Amy, like she would obviously love the opportunity to speak to you. But if you are an agent in her, in her area, in, in Sioux Falls and in that local area, and you want to consider possibly working or joining up with her team, Amy, can you tell us a little bit about what you, your team is looking for in an agent? Yes. Um, and for those of you who are looking to refer a business, we go out to my YouTube channel, Living in Sioux Falls. Um, we have a, a big book of business for a reload. I, I have a very dedicated and systemized relocation integration process. So I guarantee you they'll be taken care of um, to the nth degree. But yeah, what we're looking for in an agent, we're looking for um, agents who are, are there to serve. You know, again, my vision for my company is to build big, juicy legacies through wealth or real estate with lifetime home support. And that's what I want for my agents. We have a very support driven model. So we have the inside tran- transaction management, listing coordination, inside sales department for to generate a lot of leads. We pay for the majority of the tech stack too for our agents so they can be as as profitable as possible for them. And again, I, I've set it up for them to build their businesses so they don't have to do it the way I did it, that they're gonna be out there doing what they're best at, which is taking care of that client. And we have pretty much everything else that we're trying to take care of for them on the back side of it so they can continue to keep serving more and more clients. Wow, so if, if, there, if there's an agent that is interested in maybe learning more or, or- providing value to your team or maybe just wanting uh, your guidance, um, what's the best way they should reach out to you? Yep. Just uh, at amy at amystockburger.com or they can uh, go to any of my handles or at amystockburgerrealestate.com. And then for our digital marketing and our digital courses, it's just ASRE Academy. Yeah, ASRE Academy, or if you just go to startyourvipclub.com, that'll yep. take you also right there as well. It'll yep. redirect you. We're going to have links to all of this in the show notes. So don't worry, you don't have to write it down. It's all in our show notes. Just look for there and we will have it in there. But Amy, oh my gosh, this this is, I could have you on every single week. We could be talking about another process, another thing agents should be doing. And um, you know what? That's not a terrible idea. I, I will love talk it. to you offline because okay. I think we could, we could possibly even drink down now everyone we're, we're i'm peeling back the curtain for our audience yeah. right if it's a lot you, it, no, no no but but this is this is what i'm curious so i was just talking to one of my colleagues this morning he was going how's the podcast going now i'll, I'll just give everyone a little uh behind the scenes of what it's like to to, to run a podcast and and a I would call my podcast a successful podcast because yeah. it pays for itself. We have sponsors. We have a, a pretty sizable audience. And I'm not saying that as, as any sort of brag or 
what the younger people say flex. Um, I'm not doing it for that reason, which is so so silly. Um, I'm not I'm not doing it because I'm I'm the person that always thinks, oh, it's no big deal. I don't you know I'm not I'm not that important. But um, we do have a pretty sizable audience. And my, my point is is I am always wondering what our audience needs. Now, because podcasting is largely a one-way communication, right? I'm list, you're, you're listening to me and, and Amy. Um, I don't often get a lot of feedback. We get a lot of lovely fan letters. Like almost every day we get some one I or two that. letters from people. It's so sweet. But yeah. I don't often I don't often know what our listeners actually want or need because there's not an easy way to sort of get that feedback. So what I'm going to ask everyone to do is if you think that this would be really helpful if maybe once a month we had Amy on and she did a deep dive into one particular, you know, pillar or or something that just because I think we could create really, really a lot of value for our agents um, or for our listeners, I shouldn't say, and, and yeah. for our, the agents at my firm as well, um, but where they they could learn some of this stuff um, because I think this, you, you have so many processes. I, I think this really deserves more than, than one go around so we could really do a deep dive uh, and, and learn more. I'd so be honored. We'll, we'll, I'd well, love, I would be love honored to too. And, yeah. yeah, and I and I I am excited as well. So, guys, everyone out there, please visit startyourvipclub.com. Uh, also, uh, amystockburger.com is another place. Again, just go to the show notes. We'll click on the links. Um, there's so much great content there. A lot of it's free, by the way, too. Um, Amy's very very generous around uh, giving, and you know, let's and also again, if you're an agent, and you want to maybe join our team, or maybe you have business for people that are moving to the area. Obviously, you know, why not refer to the number one team in the area? That's what I would do. Yeah. Um, so visit amystockburger.com as well. Amy, and, and Amy, um, so as we're kind of wrapping up here, um, I definitely – so, oh, by the way, back back to our audience. So audience, if you like – if you think this would be really helpful for you, I didn't give you an action step. Let us know. <laughs> and, and there's not an easy way to give us that feedback, but if you go on our, our, our Facebook page um, or if you just send us an email, uh, which you can do at keepingitrealpod.com, we have contact information there and all of our social channels, um, you can let us know. But if this would be really helpful for you, and I know that it would be, but I just want to double check with our audience make sure that I'm giving you the value you want. Let us know and we'll have Amy back on. But Amy, on behalf of our audience, I say thank you for taking time out of your busy life, your very, very busy life, <laughs> to uh, come on our show and talk about some of these processes. And I hope lots of our people really consider investing in your Start Your VIP Club so they can have a lifetime sort of referral business. And this isn't the same sort of thing that you get from other sources. This is this is a really unique program that also shows you how to monetize it all. So, I mean, that's, I think, just an incredible incredible value add. So start your VIP club.com. And also on behalf of Amy and myself, we want to thank the audience for making it all the way to the end of this episode. We appreciate you. We love you. You're the reason we do this show. And please just, if you want to help us grow two things, support our sponsors. So consider investing in their products and services. They're the reason we can pay our bills and tell a friend about the show. Just one other realtor that you that is struggling right now. And guess what? Almost all realtors are struggling right now. So send them a link to this episode. Maybe somebody that wakes up on a Monday and doesn't always know what to do as a realtor. What should I do today? Well, this uh, episode that Amy provided a lot of great suggestions for people to really make 2023 a good year. Let's 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 make this a year where you get more market share. This is the year. Agents are falling here. away. They're mm-hmm. falling off and mm-hmm. this is a great opportunity for those who stay because you're going to pick up the, that business, but you need mm-hmm. processes. Yes. DJ, thanks for everything you do for our industry. You're awesome. Oh, thank you, Amy. Well, I appreciate that as well. And um, uh, and again, we'll talk about having you come on more regularly because I think this would be so much fun. All right, guys. Thank you. We will see everybody on the next episode. Visit our website, keepingitrealpod.com. Tell a friend about the show. Invest in Amy's Amy's program. Um, Startyourvipclub.com. All right, Amy, thank you so much. We'll see everyone on the next episode.